Okay, so we're, we're doing still the, I mean, still the first Mishnah of the first uh, in Perak Mayad Cotton, Mesechna Mayad Cotton. We're discussing Chalamoid, and we, we came up with the Yisoid that it's, it's, um, if it's, if, ne, if it's a Dover Avud, the Mishnah said, it's, for example, a Besach Shlachin, which is a Dover Avud because it has to be irrigated. Well, one is permitted to go ahead and do work. One is permitted to go ahead and do work, provided it's not Mat. A tirchi yisera. Part is not a tirchi yisera. Along the way, we saw also there's something called tzarchei rabim, and we saw that tzarchei mayed, and we'll see that there are two more. There's a there's there's a ma'aseh umin, and there's tzarchei rabim. There's one more. I forget. Okay. Um, we saw that one one of the things you 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 should do is you're able to sign the kfarim. Yeah. They didn't have. If it was it wasn't a base like forest, it was a place where you'd have a random, a random grave in a field. You'd have to worry about Tumas oil. Told you about exactly with the with the about exactly we're speaking about. And now we're going to continue on that line. We're on Vavam and Aleph, and we're um, Amar Rav Yehuda. We're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines down on Vav Amid Aleph, and we're continuing our discussion about de- mark- marking the graves that in order that one should know where exactly, you know, Thomas Lyle will be again. So I'm Rabbi Yehuda, Matzah Evan Mitsuyanis. Let's say you find an Evan, on top of the Evan, you have a marker. By and large, these markers guys were lime, what the, the Gemara called Sid. They were lime. So you found lime on top of, of an Evan. So Tachtel Tame. if it is an Evan, then underneath that, it's Tame. Underneath that, that Underneath that, it, it's tummy. Vavam and Aleph. Shtayim, if you find two, now if you find two, imyesh sid beinehem, if you have a line between the two stones, beinehem tame. In other words, by the fact that the line is not on the stone, rather it's in between the two stones, is to mark off that in fact, that's exactly where the mace is. The mace is between the two stones. Vim ain't sid beinehem, let's say you just have two stones, and there's no sid on the, in between them, Beinehem tahar, then between them is tahar. The afagav the lekachayrish, and even though that what it's not, it's not, not plowed. Even though it's not plowed, if you have two stones and there's no lime in between, that area is tahar. Frederick Marva Tanya Motza Evan Achas Mitsuyenes. If you find an Evan that has a stone that has lime on it, Tachtel Tame, then underneath it it will be Tame. Shtayim, if you find two stones now, im yeshchayresh b'neihem, b'neihem tahar. If it's plowed, then between them it's tahar. Vim lav b'neihem tame. So we have an apparent contradiction. On to Reb Yehuda, said Reb Yehuda, if you have two stones and in between there's no lime, it's tahar. We have a Tesefta saying if there's no, if you have two stones and if it's and it's not, it's not chayresh, it's not plowed. In between them will be tame. In between them will be tame. The two stones ought to go ahead and declare on both sides that in the middle of this is tame. Wait, wait. wait, wait. If it's tar in the middle, it's, it's not tame anyway, not even underneath. No, the underneath stones. the stones it would be. Underneath the stones it would be. Now, so the we have a problem. Smashma only because it was chayresh, only because it was plowed in between is it tar. Is it is it tar? If it wasn't plowed, it would be tame. On that, Amr Papa, or Papa gives an answer. The Sid is poured on top of the rocks. And there's a thin line going from one to the other. And there's a thin line going from one to the other. Now, if it's plowed, you know why? The reason why it's like, flowed in the middle there, it was the act of Harisha that took the lime, the Sid, and put, put it in the middle. The Eloi, but if it's not, if it's not uh, have a thin line, it doesn't have a thin line, a thin line, the Eloi Sid, the Beni Beni, who would be Tame. If there's no Sid, that, then Beni Beni will be Tame, even without Sid. So in other words, this Din, it's speaking where there's in between. So if it is a thin line in between, and we'll say the Emma Chayrish, We'll say that's the act of Harisha that did it. But if it's not Chayresh, then what? There's not, not Chayresh, then we'll say that what? Then it's Tomei. That the line was put there not as a result of the Harisha. The line was put there initially for the purpose of demarcating an act of Tomei, a place of Tomei.
So that's that's the difference between the two. That's how a puppy answers the apparent contradiction between plow and not plow. Again, it's a new kimta. It's a spe specific case where you have lime in between. Chayrish, we can go ahead and be toiler. That was the act of chayrish that put the lime there. If there is no chayrish, then we'll say it was there as a result of the person put it there. Amar of Asi. Meitzer echad. If you have one boundary, mitsuyan that's full of lime, who tamei v'chol said the kula tahar. That boundary, with that boundary, will be tame, and the rest of the field on the outside will be tar. Shnayim, if you have two boundaries and they're both they're both mitsuyanim, hein tameim. Those two boundaries are tame. V'chol said the kula tahar, and all the rest of the field is tar. Shloisha, if you have three boundaries, hein tameim all three. V'chol said the kula tahar. Arba, if you have four. Then they are tahar the chalas the kula tameya. You went ahead and you surrounded it on four sides to go ahead and state that what you surrounded it on four sides to go ahead and state that what that is that is tame that the inside is tame and the rest is tahar. The amamar because the master says emar chikin siyon mimachem tuma shloila hafsid es what es es eretz yisrael. We said yesterday that there's two things. One you would go ahead and keep it within close proximity, so but not right underneath it. So a person would go ahead and say, "Oh, notice it," and it's too late. But you don't distance it, distance it so far that you would go ahead and take away the land of Eretz Yisrael. So Rashi says, "The the Olahachi Tzayin Kol Arbe Meitzarov." That's why you put around the four boundaries. The Tehei Kol Asad and Nitma. The whole field should be Tamei. Why, why is in one sea on one side? In other words, he's asking a question. Why don't we say if you find the sea on the side that everything after that's tame? And the answer is, is because you're not going to go ahead and distance the sea from the, from the, 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 the uh, take away Eretz Yisrael. Okay, now, the last thing of the Mishnah is that on Cholamoid, you're able to go out and Kalayim. On Cholamoid, you go out the Eich Kalayim. Now, for those of us who have been in Shia for a while, you might remember the first Mishnah Masech the Shkalim, that on the, and, and in Masech the Megillah, what, what do we do on Rosh Chodesh Adah, guys? What do we do on Rosh Chodesh Adah? We're Mashmi'in al ha al, al Shkalim, right? We go ahead and we make an announcement about the Shkalim, and then the 15th day, they would go ahead and they would, they would set up the Shulchanais, and in addition, they would go ahead, the Shulchan would go out into the fields to be like a client. On Kalayim, they went on Chalamoid. Or the middle, yes, you astira, right? It's the first mission. Masech the Shkalim, and we had a Masech the Megillah. Ve'echad ba'adar on the first day of Adar, Mashmir ala Shkalim. They'd announced, go ahead and collect Shkalim. Guys, remember this? That's why Rosh Chodesh Adar. Remember that? Ve'ala Kalayim, and they'd also be Mashmir on Kalayim. Ve'chamisha asaboy on the fifteenth day of Adar. Koyrin es Megillah bekrachim. They would lay in the Megillah Shushan Purim in the in the in the walled cities from Yeshua Binun. The Yoitzin Lakavitz Esat Drachim, and they would go out to go ahead and clean the Drachim from thorns. Ulatakin or Chavais, and the streets would be cleaned. The the Lomar Hamik voice, and they would go ahead and I, I know. Go ahead. Tell one of them. Thank you. Okay, so they would, they would go out on the 15th day. They would go ahead, clean up the, the whole way, the roads and, and the streets. <coughs> they would go ahead and measure the mikvoyis. Voice and called Sarchei Rabim. They would take care of all the needs of the Rabim. And we, we said yesterday that they'd even dig, right? We learned from here called, that they would even dig or new, new wells. And they would go ahead, and this is the 15th day of Adar. They would go ahead and put lime around the the areas of these 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 kfarim that would have passed kfarim along the way, the yotzin ala kalayim, and they would go out and kalayim. So Fred the Gemara Kasha, why do you tell me on Chalamoy you go out and kalayim? Apparently it was much earlier. It's a mamish a good month earlier. Tezvav you went out. So Rav Loz Rav Yosi Bar Chnina they vote with Teretz Chad Amar Kam beVechir Kam beAfel. Again, there's there's a, an early crop and a later crop. On Tezvav Ada you go out for the earlier crop. And on on Cholamai, you go out for the offal for the later crop. The Chadomar can be Zroyim, the crop that grew in Adar, that's Zroyim, the seeds, the can be Yerakas, vegetables. Vegetables go ahead and take longer to go ahead and ripen. So therefore, there's two, there's two uh, 
excursions of the Besdin going out to take care of the Kalayim, one in Tesvav Ador, one on starting Tezayin Nisan, two Turutzim, the difference, one, the earlier crop in Ador, later crop in Mad in, in uh, Nisan, and the earlier crop for Zrayim, and which right, been earlier Bali and such, and Birakais in, in the later. Yeah, the, the, we we got we got from Kol Tzachay Rabbim. We learned that yesterday. Chafira. 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 We learned that yesterday. And we said yesterday that 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 Kol Tzachay Rabbim comes to include digging. I'm Rav Asim Rav Yechanan. Leishanu Elish Ein Nitzin Nikar. This this that we learned that they wait till the fifteenth day of Adar is only if the it's not recognizable. Avol Nitzin Nikar Yotzin Aleim. It would go out even earlier, even before Ada. In other words, if you recognize that there was Kalayim growing, you would go in earlier. It's not like, oh, Tesvav Ada, Shen Kalayim. We're going to see there's a share of Kalayim, the 124th in the of Kav, in, in, in the field of Asa. My Shnav B'chol Hashem Moed, Dinaf Kinon, why Daf K'chol Hashem Moed? In other words, okay, usually, why do we wait to Chalam Moed? It's mashma, you waited to Chalam Moed. If you're telling me Chalam Moed, it's, it's supposed to, we have the Dorim of Malacha. Why did you wait to wait to Chalamoid? Now, you, if, if the Gemara didn't say it, guys, I would not believe this answer. Guys, if the Gemara did not say this answer, I won't believe it. And for the Gemara, because labor was cheap. Chalamoid, no one's working. So that's supply and demand. There's a lot of workers and they need the money. So therefore, uh, <laughs> You would think of this, you know, you went to Chalamai, you got a good deal. You got a good deal. So, so the but, no. It's money in the Rav. Oh. I'm a Rav Zvid, Rav Meshashia, Shma Mina, Kia Vinan Lahu. This is from private property, Yankel. Not private property. Says the Gemara. It could be the Poilim, maybe. Oh, oh, that's one of the things, the five things that Poilim needs money. That's one of the five things. Do for on the way back at the Shindu client, there was a reason. Doesn't say that. A lot of stuff was done on the way. No, doesn't say that. Amrav Zimmer Shiva Mishmami Na Kiyavina when they pay the workers who of Bezdin who would go out to up with the Kalayim, may Truma Salishkun Yavina Lahu. It would come from the Shkolim. It would come from the communal funds that you collected for the Kabanis. You go ahead and use it for this. You, you know, you. I, 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 what? Why? Why? Because, because, yeah, why because why is the top of it? Because you're gonna lose more money than Robin. It's the best money. Why? Did yeah. You yeah. Yeah. Yes. The Isak Kedai Tachmidit Hu Yavinah Lahu. She can take his own money, guy. So my nafka mina. Kol kamet the boy lit in Lahu. In other words, we 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 don't care about a person. It's your problem. You got to pay. Why would we look for a, for a good deal? Ella, since it's cut your money, we're gonna go ahead by. It, that's not a shine of Dover of it. That's not Dover of it. No, it's not Dover. No, no. Yeah. Why did they charge the owner of the farm that the people are picking the claim for? Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. No, I thought you were going to ask. I thought you were going to ask the Kasha. The money's Kaidesh. The money's Kaidesh. So the Khari is a Dinim Ila. So there's a very, very famous. Te- we'll get into this in over Shas. Leiv Besnim Asna Leim. Besnim has the ability. Besnim has certain power. You know, one power is like Hefka, Bezin, Hefka. We're going to see that in the Yomit base. Bezin has the power to take your property and garnish your property. You're the very garnish. You know, you're going, the IRS is going to garnish. You know, so Bezin was the, the, the Hefka, Bezin, Hefka, they can mafia your property. Or Lave Bezin, Masna, Leim, Lechatchila, they can make it tonight that it's given on the condition that if you use it for this, it's okay. And therefore, it's not a problem with Me'ila. Okay, and that's the Tysus. Amar of Shmuel Yitzvah, Koisa Shvad Kama. What's the shear of a kalayim that you have to get rid of? Like learn Masech the Kalayim, Kol Sa Sheyesh Ba Roy Vakav. That's that has one twenty-fourth of a saw. Kav is one twenty-fourth of a saw. So any area that has one twenty-fourth of a of a kalayim, mimina acher. Yimat, there's a mitzvah to go ahead and be mamayas. If you if you plant a roy vakav, you might tenu go ahead and 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 you and and be oikir to get rid of it. Fred the Gemara. You're telling me that they would go ahead and and uproot their, their stuff, but Tanya, why is Bezdin going out, sending Shluchim to go and uproot it? Why don't you just go ahead, Rod, and it will mask it? 
They were mafia the property. In other words, you during Navera, you ought to let in client go ahead and exist in your field. Guess what? You lost your field. You lost your field. Talk about a garnishment. You're not getting it back. So the Gemara, Kasha, like Kasha, not a problem. When we speak about the Besdin sending people out in Tesma and Chalamoy to go ahead and be Oika, that's before the Takana. After the Takana, Besdin was Mafka the field. After the Takana, Besdin was Mafka the field. The Tanya, who is showing initially, Hoya Oikrin, the Besdin, the Shluchim Besdin would go into the field. Oikrin, they would uproot the Kalayim. Umashlichim, and they would then go ahead and throw it masan, and, and throw in front of the animal of the balabas. And they they, they mamash had two things to be happy about. Achas so to say, and one you weeded their field for them. For achas shemashlichim masan, you fed their animals. So hiskinu the made takana she oikrin they would go ahead and, and uproot it. And then they threw it what on the roads, not in front of the animals. They still were happy, not as happy because it was only one simcha, not two, but they had the simcha of having free labor done in their fields. And ah, now you know what happened? Using the halacha guys of Hefker, Bezd, and Hefker, they lost the field. They were mafia field. What did Anything, anything is fine. Well, this is the Hefka Beth Hefka. Yeah. What did you do originally? They, they obviously, they knew that the owner of the field was too happy. Really? Really? They, 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 Why would you think that a guy would want Kalayim in his field? Why do you think a guy wouldn't take care of it? Well, he's not taking so bad to take care of it. No, 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 I'm saying, they, they, no, they, they were my Shmi and Allah Kalayim. What are they doing? They assumed that you took care of it. On Rosh Chodesh, they announced, go take care of your Kalayim. If by the 15th, you didn't do it, these guys are So they, 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 You know, they assumed that they would go ahead and take care of it, but they didn't. Why can't we just go and click the Rashi? Remember, Rashi says, I'm going to the beginning of the Torah. It's a Lachamash Mishin, but it's given over to the Chacham. Decide what's the Isam Lachamash Mishin, Chalamoid. Right? I mean, it says Lachamash Mishin, Chalamoid. Zabi says, Machloikish, whether it's the Rabbana or the Raisa. Rashi says that it was given over to the Chacham. That was not a lot. That, that, if you hold it's the Raisa, it was given over to them to go ahead and decide which is permitted and which is not permitted. Chacham decided that Pesim has the right to do what they want. No, that, that you don't you don't need that. Without that, without, without that, Hefka, Hef, you don't have to say anything. That's Hefka Bez and Hefka's the fact that's a business. It's before that. It's 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 you 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 what you're at first base. This is home play. This is this is ungenomen. This is ungenomen. Hefka Bez and Hefka's ungenomen. Okay. Okay. Now going back to the to understand the next mission, we should go just back to the Amid Aleph, uh, Bez Amid Aleph. Okay. What did we see in our mission, guys? Again, we had a buzzword. The buzzword what for Beis Hashlochin was Dava Avud. If you don't work it, it's, it's going to take a loss. Beis Habal was profit, right? Beis Habal was profit. In other words, you don't have to irrigate the field because it has its own water source. But if you do irrigate it, then it's going to be better. Those are those are our buzzwords, right? Very important. Beis Hashlochin means why the buzzword for uh, Dava Avud. Beis Habal is is why it is Harvacha is, is making money. Good is making money. We said, however. You can't go ahead only from a ma'ayan, but not from what? You can't go ahead from a well, not from a, a be- mega shaman, and not from a base kilo. Why? Because that would be tirchi yisera. So the tanner of our Mishnah has to check off two boxes. The tanner of the Mishnah has to hold one. It, ha- it has to be a dover avud, and not a, and not what? And not a prophet, not a prophet. Dover means you're losing your principal, and not a prophet. And two, he has to hold that what? That tircha. You have to hear those two things. So now, we going back, the Gemara wants to know who's the Tana of the Mishnah. So right before it gets wide, Am Rav Huna, Rav Huna says four, four lines up, Am Rav Huna, Rav Eliezer ben Yaakov, he, who's the Tana of the Mishnah? It's Rav Eliezer ben Yaakov. If none, Rav Eliezer ben Yaakov, Oimer, Moishchen es Hamayim, me Elon le Elon. You can go ahead and draw water from one tree, tree, tree to the other. That doesn't seem to be much tircha. Ubevach le Yashkes asada. But five, you don't go ahead and irrigate the base Abal. So why do you see a base Abal? You won't be able to irrigate. Because why? Because it's not a dover of it. It's a prophet. It's not a prophet. Fred the Gemara, 
You only checked off one box. You only checked off the box wide of, you can't go ahead wide and, and, and make a profit, but didn't speak about Tercha. So the Gemara said, Papa, money, who's the town of a Mishnah? It's Rebbe Yehudahi, the Tanya. Me'ayin ha'yotze b'tchila, a me'ayin that was never used before, mashkin mimenu, afilu sodesh be'sabal, you could even use a sode, a be'sabal, you could even irrigate a field that does not require irrigation, using a buzzword, this atana holds that you could even make, if you're going to lose a profit on cholamoid, you can even work to do the profit, right? That's what this tana, these are the words of Reb Meir, that's what we needed, these are the words of Reb Meir. Reb Meir holds, guys, that even if it's not a dover of it of the of the of the principle, even if it's a dover of it on the profit, he allows you therefore to go ahead and irrigate a base habal on chalamoy. Good, and Rebbe Zimyakov does not, but it does not. But he didn't speak about what about tirch. Says our Mishnah, vavam and base. Rebbe Zimyakov oimer. Again, that's that's exactly that's Gemara quoted this Mishnah. You can go ahead and draw water. You had rain here in the field. Elon is, is guys, Elon automatically right, is, is a base of And Elon's base of and you have water there, and it's around your tree, and around one tree, you're able to go ahead and be marshaled to another tree. Provided you don't do the rest of the field. Why? Because the rest of the field will be a profit and not a dover of it. Good. Zroyim shloy shasu lefnei okay now zroyim shloy shasu lefnei amayid zroyim that you did not water before the mayid lo yashkin b'mayid you can't water on the mayid now this has Rashi brings halachas of of uh, agriculture which I have no idea it seems to be that if it doesn't if you you don't water it before the mayid it's not going to be good if you do water it on the mayid look at Rashi simply says lo yashkin b'mayid the hoy of leimashke lehu tadir since you didn't go ahead and and water it all the time before the mayid, you won't be taking a loss. If you don't do it on the mayid, it seems to be that the plant gets used to a certain amount of water. Since it's used to not having this amount of water, by not watering it on, on chalamayid, it won't be a problem. Again, I don't know anything about agriculture. That's what Rashi says. That's what Rashi says. Okay, so therefore, if you, if you didn't water it before the mayid, you can't water on the mayid. That would be a tercha. And Zroyim Shlai Sas the Chacham Matim Bezevese, the Chacham permitted both. The Chacham, guys, the Chacham permitted you to go ahead and do the rest of the field. Yeah. The Chacham permitted you to do the rest of the field. And the Chacham permitted you to go ahead and, and uh, now, who are this Chachamim? Rashi, guys, important Rashi. The Chacham Maimim, Bezer or Bezer, Lahashis is called Asad the Kula, or Lahashis the Moyed Zroyim, Shalai Shas with Neam Moyed, both things. Mm-hmm. Guys, the Chachamim is who is Reb Meir? The Amr Lael that we met, we said before. Mm-hmm. If you're going to lose the profit, if you're going to lose the harvacha, then you also on the might can do it. So, granted, I didn't water it beforehand, but if I would water it, if I wouldn't water it, it wouldn't gain. You're able to water it. The, granted, if I don't water the rest of the field, I won't take a loss. Of the care of the principle, but will it grow as well? No. Therefore, you can go ahead and mashbes kola sodakula. Clearly, Reb Meir Bar Hashem with this Rashi, it really enlightened me. You know, when I look, I saw this Rashi, it put it all together. I don't know. Now the sheet that makes sense. So the machloikis between Reb Lezeb and Yaakov and 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 Reb Meir and the Chachamim clearly is is kola moy limited to a dover of it losing the principle or losing a profit. Like Reb Lezeb and Yaakov, I don't care about the profit as long as you keep the principle intact. Then, but according to Rebbe, the Chachamim, which Rebbe Meir, I feel you can even extend this din of Dovra of it to profit. If I'm going to go ahead and it's not going to grow as well, you would be able to go ahead wide and we don't pass them like that. We pass them. Guys, Mishnah's Rebbe Lezim and Yaakov, Kav and Oki. When Rebbe and Yaakov appears in the Mishnah, guys, Kav and Oki, Kav means there's not too much of it, but Noki, it's pure. And usually Allah in the Mishnah, at least, the Allah is like Rebbe Lezim and Yaakov. Good. Okay, guys, Gishmak, right? Gishmak. The, 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 we, we have, Mandy, we've been through this. You've been with me 25 years, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, it's going to grow better. It's going to grow better. Amrav Yehuda. 
says Rabbi Yehuda, that the Rebbe Lezer says, that's if the Sada, if the Sada was what? Mututenes, that means it was dry. Muta, then it's muta. It's, it's, if it's, if it's, Rashi says, Avalam Chaisa Sadim to Tennis Lacha, the Yavsha, it was moist and then it dried out and it's muta. It's to why? Because I guess that would be a Dover Ovid. Tanya Nami Haki, Kishon, Rasa, Lashkas Moyed, Layomru Elabizroim, Shle Shasim of Lea Moyed, where again, they're accustomed to not being watered and therefore you're not going to take a, a loss in the principle. Avalzroim Shle Shasim of Lea Moyed, one that is used to getting water, Mutta Lashkin, the Moyed's Mutta, Vim Haisa Sadim to Tennis. And if the sudden was dried out and you have it right, then even though what, then muta again, what's the rule? It's dried out, you're gonna lose your principle, you're gonna lose the field, now you're able to go ahead right and right. It's gonna be a, a big loss. And therefore, again, once you know this you sight of Dover or of it, guys, it's Kishma, right? The yeah. notice that 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 you said you can't do the whole field, it's only if you're gonna make a profit. But if it's dried out and you're gonna take a loss in the principle, then you can go ahead right and 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 again, then it's no different than a base shlochan. I think we change gears over here. The grud takes out words, right? Marbitzin instead of mashkin. Okay, marbitzin. They marbitzin sade garid. You can't go. Marbitzin is is to sprinkle water on. Mashkin means a lot of water. Marbitzin is a little water. They marbitzin sade garid b'mayid the dry field. The chamim matirim bzeh bzeh. Reb Meir would matter in both cases. Am Ravina Shmamina hay tarbitza the sprinkling of water shari litarbutza bechol d'mayid. An, uh, the, the, you, a, a garden, you're able to sprinkle and call the might, right? So the garid my time out, the afla mashvale charfa that that that's what that was come come later is going to come earlier. Achnami afla mashvale charfa that that's going to come later is going to come earlier. Tana banan my beats and sod the love and mishvias you can go ahead right and sprinkle water on a sod the love and that's a field of grain and shmitiya. I will lay the moyer but you can't do in the moyer. I have a tiny my beats and bein the moyer bein mishvias mashvim you could. I'm Rafun like cash not a problem. The one that says you can't go ahead and do it, that's what has but the Rachacham and Rameh who said that you could do it. Tanya Idach, my beats and saw the love and Erev Shvias, Kadesh Yetsu, Yerakos, Bishvias. The Loy Oid, Elish, my beats and saw the love and Bishvias, Kadesh Yatsu, Yerakos, no Maitan Shvias. You're able to go ahead and and uh, and sprinkle water on the field that the, the Yerakos come in the Shmitia and Maitan Shmitia. Okay, another thing you could do in Chalam, right, guys, is sudden as a Ishus Vesach Bar. These are critters. The, the ishus we'll see in the Gemara in a second what it is. Vesach are usually mice. And these are going to go ahead, they're going to eat up your crops. So you're able to go ahead and capture them on Cholomoyed, Misada Ilan, Misada Lovan Kedarkai, right? The Moyed, Ubishvias. You know, so you can go ahead and, and use the normal means of capturing them on Cholomoyed and the Shmitiya. If it's a field of an orchard that you can catch, capture in the normal way. But if it's a grain field, a field of wheat or barley or spelt or, or rye, shalai kedarko. That you could go ahead, but you'd have to make a shinoi. You wouldn't be able to capture that in the normal way. Right? You won't be able to do it right in, 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 the, in the normal way. Well, right? I guess, I guess it's, uh, you need a shinoi because again, it's uh, dead. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Actually, again, the loss, the, the loss of a, an orchard is much greater than the loss. In other words, it's all that half it, but that half it over here. So what are you going to lose? You lose more in an orchard than you're willing to stay love on. So therefore, that's why they said shlokid arte. When we carry this up here, so if you have a hole in a fence, part you can go ahead and fix it up, right? You can go fix it up. Or by mayed, which we by the kedarka, you can go ahead and do it in a normal way. My ishus, we said that if you, you can capture an ishus, what's an ishus? Amr of Yehuda berio shein lo inayim. It's a creature that doesn't have eyes. Mole? I think a mole. Mole, mole. The mole. Does the mole have eyes or does that? that what? Yeah. They, again, I think a mole. These, these are these are they 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 live under the ground all the time. So these are very shame like I'm Rav Bashmul Vitema Rav Yema Bashalme Mai Kra was the pasuk say. Yeah, the pasuk there. Kamoish. I don't want to misread it. It's a pasuk in Tehillim. Read read the pasuk. Kamoi what? Kamoi. What? Shavul Temes Yahalich Nefel Eishes. That's the word we need. Eishes Balchazi Shemes. Eishes is a is a like a mole. Balchazi Shemes. It doesn't see the sun. So you see that it's 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 in you. It doesn't see what it doesn't see the. Tana Banan. Southern is the Eishes. You can go ahead and capture a mole. Besach Borim. You can capture a a, a mouse. Misada Alavon. Misada Ilan Kedarka. That was the Tana Kama. Who machrivim chori in the molim. And you can go ahead and destroy the holes of ants. The ants, they also take away stuff. 
and you can destroy the ant holes on Cholam Oid. Case of Machrivim, how do you how do you go ahead and destroy ant holes? Rabshim will loimer maybe offer me charze. You bring offer from one hole, the noise in the charze, and you put it in the other hole. Bein choykim zen zen, they begin killing each other. Now I I I, I, I learned shot like this. I, I didn't look at art school or anything. I think like this, right? I think you take enemy territory and you put in the other one. So the other one thinks that it's getting attacked and it seems to be, that's the way I learned. I don't know. What does Otsko say? I didn't let me see what Otsko said. The ants go to war each other again or the ants within the heart kill each other? Exactly like you said. They go to, they kill each other? Yeah. It says a uh, rap, uh, Rashi manuscript, the Rabbi Hananel. Yep, they kill each other. They kill, but not, not within, they kill, the two, they have fighting ants, right? Yeah, they're fighting ants. It's like, yeah. Uh, it's like putting putting Yankee Stadium in the middle of 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 of, of, of uh, face City Field. Face, it's like a giant a giant fan in in uh, in Lincoln Field. Exactly. <laughs> there's a reason that in Lincoln Field there's a jail built into the stadium. The Eagle fans are notorious. I mean, not all Eagle fans. Chas Shalom. I know some that are very very docile, but uh, but but no, the Eagle fans are notorious to be like. You can imagine. One no, that was the old Veteran Stadium. Oh, the, the, and the new one you don't have. How would you know? Do you have first information, Doctor Press? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so <laughs> I don't know. We're going to get into the ends. It's okay. We'll, we'll, you'll know, man, man, hang on there. Who do I betray? Arve Nohara. They got to be on two sides of the river. In other words. They have to be really far foreigners. But who deleka gashra? They don't have a bridge in between. Who deleka gamla? There's no plank that they can walk across. Who deleka meitzra? They don't have what? They don't have some type of uh, common boundary. Ad kama ad parsa. They have the distance. Have to be a distance of a parsa. Then this is going to work. You can try it at home. Okay. But tomorrow night, I think I may try for a half hour earlier.